Other features within the layers palette now is merge down. So if I'm on top here, okay, keep in mind there's two separate masks. This is where it kind of fails. I got a mask one and I got a mask two. Pay close attention to how they look right now. If I'm on the top one and I hit merge down and then turn it back on, <laughs> I get this, okay? So what it did, it kind of did a halfway in between the two. All right, and that's merged down. So when it deals with masking, uh, it's not very efficient to merge down. Color works really good. So if I, I have this color, it's on. This one, remember I deleted, so I'd have to go in here and add some new color to it. I'll put a orange dot on the guy's head using the standard brush. Morph brush does not do well with color. It doesn't work at all. So I got this one and I got this one. And what I want to do is merge down and I can merge those two together. And you can see, because that was set to 0.25, I can tint this as a transparency. Yeah, that's neat. Because when you tint back color, sometimes that's efficient when you're texturing. So here we go. I can merge down. Now they live on one layer, and I can turn them off. Same with Sculpt. So I don't have to keep going through that. So on the Sculpt layer, let me record something. Um, let me take this. See, add. One of the one things that I found very annoying about layers before is the fact that things could exist on a layer. So I'm just going to keep recording. I'm going to delete that orange stuff by holding Alt. Oh, it lives outside the layer. Oops. So this is what I'm talking about. It, it lives out it lives on this layer okay but what happens when I go into geometry and I divide it up okay it doesn't allow you to do it because you're recording it so I'm going to re take recording off and I'm going to divide it now before you couldn't do that I couldn't be on the next level and still have this active or passive I couldn't tone it down before because if it was on sub level 3 and I made that layer there if I divided it this thing would get grayed out so now layers coexist upon different levels of subdivide and that is very powerful and of course I can bake all if I wanted to and bake that right into the actual object and now it exists on there. What I would say if you're going to bake all, I would, here's a little tip, turn it off first, take and store a morph target, and then bake all. Because that way if you want to ever change it later on, you can take the morph brush with Z add on, get that silly color out of there, and now I can delete that if I need to. All right, so I hope I explained that. It's it's a really difficult concept. Um, you would have to have ZBrush, the older version, to know what I'm talking about with the layers. But trust me, it was annoying, and now it's fixed, and now I'm happy. So enjoy, and on with the next video.